Almost a week after King Tides flooded areas of the Torres Strait, the first government feet have hit the ground. 16 people are still homeless after properties along the foreshore of Yam Island were inundated with seawater. Today, the state's new emergency services minister, Craig Crawford, surveyed the damage, promising relief is on the way. Mark Rigby filed this report from Yam Island, about 100 kilometres northwest of Thursday Island. Lush green forest and golden sand, the islands of the Torres Strait are a tropical paradise. But when high tide rises, paradise washes away. Send somebody out! We need help! This is unbelievable! Every year, residents living in social housing on Yam Island have to start again. While I was watching the TV, I saw the tide coming, rushing inside the underneath the TV unit. When the king tide hit last week, residents demanded government action. If it happened on the mainland, um, things would happen almost immediately. You know, people would react through the emergency services and so on. Almost a week later, the state government has finally flown in. We rebuild, um, we restore confidence, uh, and we do that by working with the locals, and particularly the local council. What we don't need here on Yam Island is everyone running in from Brisbane saying, I know what you need, we need to do it like this and this. The emergency services minister assessed the damage and talked about floodproofing the island using disaster relief funding. The council up here can apply uh, through the state and the Commonwealth for funding uh, to help rebuild, help recover. Uh, and maybe even offset some of the likelihood of this occurring again. This is the reality of living in remote um, regions, and this is one of the realities of Yam Island. The damage bill is still mounting. Estimates are already into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. It was very strange at that time because a couple of years back, it wasn't like that. The king tide that flooded through this area last week peaked at around 3.8 metres. Residents worry that similar high tides, the next of which is due in just three weeks' time, could have similar effects. Yeah, we just keep our fingers crossed and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll stay on top of it this time. How the government plans to protect these residents is yet to be decided. The minister says he'll take a report back to the Premier. Mark Rigby, ABC News, Yam Island.